Okay, here guys, I have a hydrocolator and if we open this one, there is a heater but the thermostat is uh, missing. So, we will uh, connect a new thermostat here and I will show to you the connection and how to connect it. But first of all, let me explain to you what is a thermostat and what is a hydrocolator? So, guys, this is a thermostat for hydrocolator. So this side, both sides are the terminal and supposed to be the tip was here but it, this one is uh, broken and uh, we, we will replace this with uh, the new one. So this is the bottom part. From the main power, this is going to the fuse. Then going here to the heater switch. It's supposed to be the thermostat is here. And connected to this wire. So let me show to you the circuit. Now, let us make the diagram on how to connect a thermostat or a hydrocolator. This connection is actually applicable to any device that use a thermostat. And one thing that you should remember that this connection is only a series connection. Okay, so from the main power uh, to 20 volts, we have a fuse. So we have two fuses and uh, this is connected to the power switch. After the power switch, one line is connected to one of the terminal of the thermostat and the other one is connected to the NTC or the negative thermal coefficient. And after the thermostat, it is connected to one of the terminal of the heating element. And on the other side, after the NTC, it is also connected to the other terminal of the heating element. And the next thing is the tip of the thermostat. So the tip of the thermostat is placed near the heating element.
So this is the diagram now. So I will make a label to show what are these components. So first is the fuse. In the hydrocollator, we are using a 6.3 ampere fuse. So we have F1 and uh, F2. And this is the power switch. And this is the thermostat. In here is the NTC or the negative thermal coefficient. And uh, by the way guys, the surface of this NTC should touch the body of the hydrocollator. So this is an extra safety for the unit to avoid overheating. So this is the heating element. And beside the heating element is the tip of the thermostat. Okay guys, now this is our diagram on how to connect a thermostat for the hydrocollator. So this is the bottom part of the unit and this is the new thermostat that we connect as you can see, the tip is on the other side, or I mean inside the unit, where the heating element is also there. So, let us try this to fill the water and on. Now, I put already the water inside. As you can see, this is the heating element. And beside this one is the tip of the thermostat. So we will on the unit. Now it is on. And we will wait. Okay guys. So here is now the hydrocollator. As you can see, small bubbles is coming out or I mean coming from the side of the heating element so it started to heat up already but it, it should not boil the water only to keep it at around 90 degrees Celsius So after one hour guys, the unit was able to maintain the temperature. It did not boil the water. So again, we will wait for longer time. As you can see guys, there is small bubbles on the side of the unit but it don't boil the water. So it means that the thermostat was able to control the temperature and this unit is now working properly.